So between the hurricane and Hurricane Trump, while I'm down here, I'm catching up with uh, what's happened. So evidently we have some, uh, you know, I talk about his three chapters of life. It was around 2004 that he actually started uh, cleaning up his act. What you got in the 2005 video is, uh, is a demonstration of uh, the part of him that he decided to, to get rid of from 2005 to 2016. He reformed his uh, his uh, bad boy, millionaire, billionaire, playboy lifestyle. But he was sitting there bragging and talking stupid talk, which fascinates me when you think about it, how the left, um, you know, you realize that Hillary's 30,000 missing emails reveal her, potentially her foundation deals that were quid pro quos between people that were getting foundation access, uh, giving money and getting favors. And you know who picked up those 30,000? The uh, Chinese and the Russians. They've got them just like the Democrats had a 2005 video they were waiting to humiliate Trump with. Other nations have Hillary's dirty laundry and they will use it as blackmail. And I don't think that the Clintons are above blackmail. That's my opinion. But you know, I want to address the situation with Donald Trump because what we have is a contrast between someone who's carnal and someone who's demonic. People that try to compare the, um, the progressives to Trump as a lesser of two evils or both evils make a mistake. The progressives are a demonic agenda that eventually will uh, destroy society, freedom of speech, and America as you know it. And um, Trump, on the other hand, is carnal. He has a carnal problem. In this case, it's a 10-year you know, specimen of what he did 10 years ago. But I want to remind you of something. Samson, you can quote me on this one. Samson slew a thousand Philistines. That carnal prophet who had Delilah for a girlfriend slew a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. So I will tell you this, those of you that are, and you can send this on to all the religious spirits out there that are not liking Trump. God in the Bible anointed the jawbone of an ass, but he never anointed Jezebel. Bam! Share that with your friends. God can do more with the jawbone of an ass to deal with his enemies than he can do with the spirit of witchcraft working on Jezebel. That's why this isn't a question of two evils. It's a question of carnality. God can humble carnality. By the way, who do you think is getting humbled right now? Who do you think is getting humbled right now? And who do you think is just like, you know, rubbing their hands together in mischievous, malicious glee? Oh, what he got Donald now. Poor Donald, man, he's got to like go out there at the height of his trying to establish his credibility and prestige and have to deal with something he did 10 years ago. This is producing humility. Humility is what America needs, not, um, not a hit machine that does opposition dirt exposure and of all things for the Clintons to be dealing with somebody's sexual improprieties. I'd far rather get caught running my mouth or texting what's inappropriate or something like that than actually be wiping my um, fluids off of the dress of an intern. So it's a crazy thing for the Clintons to go after Trump on questions of moral decency when um, poor Bill is a walking brothel. So anyway, those are my thoughts. These are just my thoughts, by the way, brought to you from Jerusalem, the land of controversy and the gates of Zion. But like I said, God never anointed Jezebel, that he did anoint that untidy man with a weakness for Philistine women. Put my money on the jawbone of an ass to deal with the Philistines.